Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this cute little bee. This is a cute amigurumi or ragdoll bee. You know, we're just gonna make two panels and stitch them up together like I do with the many of my patterns. So I attached here the wings on the, the back side here and um, the bee have some antennas and I used uh, some cotton yarn. Uh, Hobby sent me this beautiful yarn. I already used some of the yellow, but this is very soft and a nice, uh, nice cotton yarn. This is an 8 to 8 quality, 100% natural cotton, and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So here I also have one in white. The colors are one. 53 and 9. So I know they ship in the US, they ship in Europe, so uh, you can order this yarn wherever you are. So thank you Hobby for sponsoring the yarn and also for this also for this uh, eye set. This is 12 mm 60 uh, um, 12 mm safety eyes. You get 10 pieces and uh, they are also very nice to work with. You're also gonna need some thinner yarn for the eyes and uh, for the eye uh, eyebrows or eyelashes and some white I used some white yarn hand to to make more life in the eyes. This is the first time I tried it. And I'm using a little thinner um pink yarn. You also need a scissor and some filling materials. So now we're just gonna start. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. My name is Rangnil at yarnhill.com and I have many free patterns on my blog so you can go and check them out. You can also get this pattern on my blog or you can purchase the PDF. And uh, this the PDF is also available in addition to English, also in German and Norwegian. We're gonna make two panels. This is how it looks the first panel when it's done. So we're gonna make two. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna start off with some yellow yarn. Make a slip knot. So um, once we progress through the, the pattern, I'm not gonna show you all the stitches, but I'm gonna tell you uh, what to do next. So now chain two, one and two. And now here in the first single crochet, uh, chain, do one single crochet and do it a little tight here chain one and turn. Do this after each row. Now we're gonna do one single crochet here and then chain one and turn. Now we're gonna do one increase so put two single crochets there. One and two. Chain one and turn. Now we are gonna do one more increase. So here increase and in the next stitch increase. Now we're going to increase in the first stitch and in the last stitch. So increase here and then two single crochets, one and two. This pattern is also available in German and Norwegian. You can purchase the, the PDF also in English. I'm going to put the link below. Now grab your black yarn and before you finish the last single crochet, Yarn over with a new color and chain one. Now you can carry the yarn, but I choose not to do so because you, you, the yarn is hidden uh, when we crochet them together. So do one increase in the first stitch, single crochets across, and one increase in the last stitch. Now we're going to do one more increase row. Here's a little hard to see, but I'm telling you one increase in the first stitch, single cr crochets across. You're going to have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now do one increase in the last stitch. Seven, 
eight you have ten single crochets now pick up your yellow yarn again so I'm just you can also cut off the yarn but I choose not to so chain one and turn now we're gonna single crochet across so we have ten single crochets you're gonna do this for two rows so do, do one single crochet in each stitch chain one and turn and for two rows and then we're going to change colors again and do the same thing with the black yarn. So here I am again, my last stitch, just go through like here the last single crochet, go through once, pick up your black yarn, yarn over and there you go. Okay, and now do two rows with 10 single crochets with the black yarn. Afterwards, you can cut the black yarn, then we're going to only work with the yellow yarn. Here again, have the scissor. So now we are at row 11. We're going to do some decreases now. I'm just going to put there the tail in between so I don't have to weave in so much afterwards. So insert the hook in the same uh, stitch as the last um, insert a hook in the next stitch and then also in the next stitch and do one decrease now single cro single crochet across until there's two stitches left and do one decrease you're going to repeat the same thing at the next row in the next row from here one decrease single crochets across until two stitches left there are two stitches left and do one decrease here one decrease and then two single crochets and then one decrease. Now here is the neck part and now we're going to increase so two single crochets in each stitch try to make them a little tight here keep the tension a little tight Oops. chain one turn now increase in the first stitch, single crochet across until the last stitch and do one increase there. So now you should have 10 single crochets. Now we're going to do two increases in the first and in the second stitch, single crochet across until there are two stitches left and do one increase in the last two stitches. So you will end up with 14 single crochets. So here one increase and here one increase and then single crochets across. Now we're going to do four rows with 14 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch for four rows. So I'm going to meet you when I'm done with my four rows with 14 stitches. One decrease here in the first stitch or stitches. Single crochet across and do one decrease the last one. So you have 10 single crochets in between and one decrease. Now we're going to do two decreases. So here one decrease and in the next one decrease. Now four single crochets. One 
two, three, and four, and decrease two times. One, and two. So now we're gonna do one decrease, and again four single crochets. One, two, three, and four, and one decrease. Now here is the last row, one decrease, single crochet two times, one and two, and one decrease. So here, now I want you to make another part. We're going to make the face here. So I'm just going to go here in the middle here, row uh, 19 and 20, and place the eyes. So I'm going a couple of stitches from the here, from the outer part. You can also um, choose smaller eyes if you like to. And now, if you want to make eyelashes, you're going to sew on the eyelashes here uh, before you make the, you, before you put on the, the plate here. And I'm just going to sew on a little mouth and some cheekbones. It like so. So that's a happy bee. <laughs> So now I'm gonna make some eyebrows here. If you're gonna do some eyelashes, just go here underneath the eye and just go on an angle here. I'm just gonna do put here and do the eyebrows. Some white or nature yarn and I'm just gonna close to the eye what I did. I just went just as not under the eye but close to the eye. So to attach those back part here, just place it on the hard surface and surface and push down. Like so. That looks okay. And now I'm gonna make some cheeks. Now when you are done with the face and uh, you're just gonna stitch those uh, parts together and you're gonna chain one, lie them on top of each other with a um, face <laughs> outside of course and then just go through both panels here and single crochet them together. This is what, if you've been following my channel, you know that many of my patterns goes like this. So you're just gonna single crochet here, one stitch in each row, and then you're gonna add some filling materials. So I'm gonna do this until I get here, and I'm gonna meet you back, meet you then. I'm gonna show you a couple of stitches before I turn off the camera. So I just, here is the, where I, the stitch where I am, I just go into the next one. I try to keep my tension tight here, as you can see I'm pulling here. So this is how I'm holding my yarn. So we get a nice end result and if I run into any ends, I just uh, crochet them, I just crochet over them, just slide them in between. Uh, also, if you're making one bee, just um, tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see it. So I just crochet here also over this tail part. So here. Here I have a little filling material and I'm just gonna 
fill the lower part but not the neck and you don't want to stuff over stuff I don't I just stuff lightly when I make these flat animals not like the the ones that are made in rounds they have to be stuffed much more I feel also if you have a look at my account on Instagram you can see all the cute bees that my testers have made and um, you should check that out because uh, they are so uh, so have been so helpful with this pattern so now just do a, a just a chain one and finish off now I'm just gonna cut on cut off all the ends here and weave them in we are going to make the wings so grab the white yarn and just you're gonna make four pieces we're gonna stitch two and two together I already made some here um, just make make four and then we're gonna lie them on top of each other and crochet them together so now do a magic ring so you have a video here if you don't know how to make a magic ring now chain one this does not count as a stitch this is how we start the magic ring now do six single crochets in the ring so one two three four five and six now pull the ring closed here just pull here now do two single crochets in each uh, stitch so you have 12 you can grab your stitch marker i'm just gonna put some yellow yarn there it's maybe a little hard to see in the camera but just do two single crochets in each stitch we're just gonna single crochet here right in the next stitch without slip stitching or anything now move up your stitch marker do one single crochet and one increase in the next and repeat all the way around in total six times and afterwards you're just gonna fasten off when you have done your pieces just place them on each other and then I uh, have the outside um, here facing out and now you can chain one and then just single crochet them together we are not putting any filling materials in the wings just oops just stitch them up together like we did with the B with the body for the B now when you're done just do a slip stitch in the first stitch and leave a long tail here now you're just gonna repeat this uh, for the other ring and then we're gonna attach them here on the row here on the black part and I'm gonna show you how to do the antennas but I'm not gonna use black because it can be so hard to do a slip knot chain 10 slip stitch in uh, the fifth chain from the hook so one two three four and five here do a slip stitch so you make a little circle here and now slip stitch five times until you get to the end of the so one two three four and five and there you have your little antenna and now you're just gonna leave a lot longer strand here and we're gonna sew on the parts on the B so now I'm gonna sew on here the antennas and I'm just going here in the middle here and I have this uh, ring part facing out so you can go like this back and forth until it's secure
this side here out and I'm just gonna sew them fast here with one stitch apart you can also sew them together um, or like so and depending on how much you want the wings to stick out and you just put the, the, the part here where your strand is coming here so you can use this strand to sew here so it doesn't um, um, get so floppy you know you want the wings to be secure so here on the, the upper and black part we're just gonna attach them in the middle like so And just go back here some Just do this many times until your wings are secure enough. Okay, now, now I attach mine a little bit here outside. I wanted to do it like this but also it looks nice like this I'm just gonna keep a couple of stitches space between the wings here so now my bee is ready uh, the wings are sticking a little bit more out but uh, that I wanted but I also think it looks cute you can do however you like I hope that you like this pattern and please uh, make sure to su subscribe to my channel and I see you next week Goodbye.